So over here, you can see that I already have a character traced out from the previous lesson. So now let's get it ready to be imported in character animator. So for that, we have to name the layers accordingly. And for that, we need to have a reference. So I'm just going to go around, go on to character animator right here. And on the, uh, let's say on the home section, I'm just going to go around right here onto Ninja part right here. So which has all of the views and everything that we need. So I'm just going to go around right here, open up the Ninja right here in character animator, just like this, and it'll load out the character so we can open that out in Illustrator. So now in the Ninja scene right here, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to right click uh, onto the Ninja puppet right here and click on edit original. So you can see that it just opens up in Illustrator just like that. And over here we can see its layers. So let's just go over here onto uh, Windows right here on the layers you can see right here. So there's the character right here. There's the left character, right and left profile, right, uh, right profile and so forth. So you can see like this is just without the head right here. So the frontal part right here as you can see got all of it. So you got, got a head and a body. So we got to div uh, divide the head and the body first, as you can see right here. And all of the heads are supposed to be in the same thing, frontal, and then uh, we're using the right profile and the left profile. So let's just do that right over here. So frontal, left profile, and right profile. So just like this, uh, I need to go around and create our character right here. So let me just uh, go around and create a new layer. Let me just rename this character to plus Bobby right over here. So let's just give him a name right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in all of the uh, head related things like there's the face background, there's the eye right here, and there's like edit everything else like everything else I need to add it in on the face. So let's just go around here. And in the frontal part, let's go for the head. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to create a new layer call plus frontal. So I'm just going to say plus frontal, just like this. And on the frontal part, I need to add in a head. So let's just go around right here. On the frontal part, let's just go around right here. On the head part, on the frontal part, we have to go for the head plus head. Okay. So on the frontal part, just create another layer right here. And that's going to be plus head right here. And the head should be under frontal, just like this. So let's just go around here and then go around. So Bobby frontal head. So once we go inside the head now, so let's just bring up everything. So let's just go on to the head right here on the frontal and there over here on the frontal, you can see that all of the front parts right here is there along with the proper naming convention for that particular head. So I'm just going to go around onto the front part just like this. And here's the face. Let me just bring that out over here onto the head right here. So there's the face. I'm just going to bring out all of it uh, on the head itself, on the frontal head. That, that's what I'm going to work with. And over here, you can see that this is the nose. So let's see how uh, the naming convention is right here. Is there anything right here? You can see that there's ears, there's face and everything else right here. So now uh, I'm just going to go around and then arrange more things out. So there's the head. This I'm just going to rename this to nose uh, because that doesn't matter much right here. Left eye and right eye. So I got to go around left eye and right eye. That is what I need to work around with. So left eye and right eye. Is it? Is this the left eye? Okay, this is the left eye. And then this one is the right eye, I guess. Did I get the naming right? Let's just try to see right here. So uh, the frontal head and then there's the left eye and the right eye. Okay. So over here, uh, this is the face background. That's fine. And this one is the mouth. So I don't really have shapes right here for the mouth right here. We're keeping it quite simple. And there you go. We got the frontal head done. And now what we have to do is we need to bring in all the heads. So on the on the head part, uh, what we need is we need the left quarter and the right uh, quarter of the head as well. So let's just try round and get all of these. So that's the head for the frontal part right here. So let's just see around there's the head and on the head there's frontal. Okay, so now this is gonna be the head right here plus head just like this. And after the head, there's going to be frontal and that's in small letter right here just like this. So let's go, just go with head and this is going to be frontal. So I'm just going to go around right here, frontal just like this. 
So once I do that, I'm going to go around and then create another layer right here. So this is going to be the side profile. So let's just see over here. So this is going to be the left profile right here. That is go around this one. Yeah, that's this one right here. Going around onto uh, plus left profile, just like this. And then I'm going to go around onto the left profile. Let's just go around right here. This one out. Okay, this one is ellipse for the neck, so I'm not going to worry about that. This is for the no nose. So this is the nose right here and nose eye and this is the mouth right here. That's it. So let me just drag all of these and this ellipse that's for the face. So I'm just going to drag it out onto the left profile right here. So once I do that, let's just see out right here and everything is here. The ellipse is here, but the face background is not here. So let me just grab that in right here again. And there's all of it. So ellipse right here. This one is for the neck. So this is going to be uh, for neck itself. Okay, so that is the part of the neck itself. So I'm just going to keep it right here. Okay, so there's the nose right here. And just like that, I'm going to go around. So this is the nose. This is the eye right here. Okay, this one right here is on the top part of the neck right here on the front. So I guess like I just got to keep it over here. That will be much more better. So I'm just going to go around, keep it on top of uh, that one. So this one ellipse right here from, from the left profile. Let me just keep it on top right here. Okay, so ellipse, just keep it on the top. Just press control Z right here. Okay, so that's it. So now I got all of these right here. I'm just going to do the same with the frontal part as well. I'm just going to keep around uh, the neck part. Okay, so on the neck part, I'm just going to keep the ellipse above the face background right here, just like that. All right, the ellipse is here. And then the face right here, that's the front. So I'm just going to keep that front body on the bottom, just like that, uh, so that we are not confused. So I'm uh, going to go around with Bobby right here. So I have all the layers that's required. So ellipse, this is the uh, just the ellipse. So this is just the cover. So I'm just going to say cover right here. This one around as well. This is the cover as well. So let's just go around with the cover. This is the nose eye. This is the uh, right eye right here. So right eye, just like that. Or is it the left eye? So this one right here is the left eye, not the right eye. So this is going to be the left eye, just like this. Okay, left eye right here. The right eye is not seen. And this one right here is the mouth and that's the face background. So we got the layering right here, just like that. So this is the head right here, just like that, as you can see. So let's just go around with the right profile of the head right here. So I'm just going to create a new layer and this is going to be right profile, just like this, right profile. And then I'm going to go along with the right profile right here, face background, eye, path, and then I'm going to go with this ellipse as well. And then there's the path as well, just like that. So let me just drag it in onto the right profile right here. And inside the right profile, let's see what we have right here. So we have all of these shapes right here, uh, just like that on the right profile. Let me just drag the right on the bottom as well so that this does not cover everything up. Okay, so there's the right profile as you can see, and this is the ellipse. So this is just going to be the cover, and this one is the nose. Okay, so just gonna name it nose. And this is the right eye, right eye right here. And then this is the mouth, just like this. So once I have all of these, you can see that this is the head and all of it right here. So now we just got to make sure that all of them are together. So let's keep all of the heads together. And to do that, I'm just going to go around right here. I'm going to turn off the frontal part right here. Let's just go around onto the right profile. And then I'm going to drag these head right here. So just gonna drag this head right over here, just like this. I'm just gonna keep one over here. This is from the le uh, left profile. And then from the right profile, I'm just going to drag it right here, around here, and that is done. So once I do that right here, you can see that this is the front profile, this is the right, and the left profile, just like that. So everything is okay, just like this, as you can see. We can just turn off the head now and then work with the body. So this is everything, right arm, left arm, right leg, uh, left leg, and torso and neck. This is how everything should be arranged out and what I arranged out a bit beforehand, just like that. And then over here, you can see that it is the same thing. So there's the left profile, there's the right profile right here, right quarter and left quarter, just like this. So you just got to arrange it out to right arm right here, as you can see, left arm, 
and then there's the right leg and the left leg, torso, and there's the neck, as you can see right here, arrange it out in order. So this is the head and the body. So now you can see right here, this is the uh, body right here, which does not need anything just like this. So it's this body plus head, but for the body, we don't need plus. So let's just correct that out right here. So that's the frontal part right here. And then this is going to be frontal right here. So all the name of this is frontal and on the frontal, that's head and body. So let's just go around right here and then go around into frontal just like this. So once we do that, we're going to go on to the left profile just like this. And then on the left profile, let's go around and arrange everything out. So over here, this is the arm as you can see. So I'm just going to bring this out. And then over here, this is going to be plus. This is going to be the left arm just like this and drag it out over here just like that. All right. And then we're going to go around right here and going to go around into plus right arm just like this. It's going to go to right arm, drag this one inside the right arm just like that. All right. So once I do that, this is the left and right arm. And then I need to go around with torso. So torso just like this and then uh, drag these around over here under torso just like that. So torso is done as well. And then going to go over here on to plus left. Uh, this is going to be left uh, leg. All right. So left leg on the top. So just going to go around. There's the left leg right here. OK, so just going to drag it up on the left leg part. And then I'm going to go around right here. And then there's going to be right leg. So plus right leg just like this. Drag it below torso right here and drag these things up. So right leg just like that. And then this is going to be the neck just like that. All right. So right leg and drag both of these under the right leg just like that. So once I do that, you can see right here, there's the right arm and everything. Let's just uh, hide everything right here. So there's the left arm. That seems fine. There's the um, leg. So the leg for the left, you can see that ellipse. There's an error with the ellipse right here. So just going to go around for the ellipse right here and then work around with it. So there's going to be no stroke for this one. So there's no stroke right here. But you can see right here. OK, so there's supposed to be no stroke for this one. So let me just hide that out. OK, so no stroke at all. Zero stroke. Yeah. OK, so we just corrected that out right here. There's the left leg. That's fine. And there's the torso right here, which seems fine. The right leg is fine and the right arm seems fine as well. And there's the neck. So let's just uh, enable everything out right here and then good. OK, so everything is fine up over here on this side. So we just got to go on. Uh, for the neck, I'm just going to keep it beneath the torso. And there you go. There's the left profile right here. Now let's go on to the right profile. So let's just go around right here on to the right profile. And then let's see. So there's the left arm right here. And OK, so plus left arm. OK, plus left arm is what I'm going to do. Plus uh, left leg, just like this. And this thing is going to be the torso. Let's just go around and then type in torso and drag these things around inside and then this is going to be the right leg and this is going to be the neck of course and this is going to be the right arm so the left is on the top now over here on this one you can see that right or oh, right is supposed to be on the top and then left is supposed to be on the bottom right here because on the uh okay so no on the left profile is left arm on the top but over here on the right there should be uh, the right on the top. So just going to go around and then drag both of these right things on the top, the left arm on the bottom, just like that. OK, so we got some error right here. I, you, you can see right there. So there's the right leg, right arm. Arm should be on the top. All right. So that's now fixed out. So let's just go, go ahead and then enable out each and every layer to see what we have. So we got the arm. That's fine. We got the leg. I guess we don't need any uh, stroke right here. So let's just go for zero stroke right here. That's fine. And then we got the torso right here. And then we got the neck and we got the arm and the leg. OK, so that's fine right here. Just like that. The torso covers it out and there you go. So this is the character that we have now. So we got the right profile as well. Right profile just like this. And then that's done. OK, so there's the frontal, the left and right profile and the front. I guess this is an extra layer so we can we are safe to just delete this out. 
So we just need to enable out the head right here, all the three portions of the head right there. And then we got to rename out. So we, not, we need to create a new layer. I'm just going to say Bobby right here. This is the name of the character, right? And then bring it all up under Bobby just like this. And then we're done. So just like this, as you can see, that's plus Ninja, left, right quarter, and frontal right here. So uh, le okay, so left, right profile. So left, right profile, left uh, profile, right profile. If there's quarter, then you write uh, left pro quarter and right quarter. So just like that, you can see that everything has been arranged out. And now we're safe to import this out. So I'm just going to save this out right here. That is character uh, for character animator. And over here, what I can do, I'm just going to delete out the ninja right here. I'm just going to import out right here. These are our characters from our previous Photoshop lessons right here. So I'm just going to import that around. Import, and then I'm going to go on to my Dropbox where I have my file. So let's just go around. Yeah, this is my Dropbox itself. So character, illustrator, uh, uh, face character, character for character animator. Okay, this is the illustrator file right here. So let me just import that out. And if I were to go over here, you can see the character right here. Oh, we forgot to arrange out the body. We got to keep everything on the center. We forgot that out. So let's just arrange that out real quick. So character for character animator, edit original, we get back over here. And then we forgot to change out the left profile right here. Of course, this is supposed to be over here, just like this. Okay. And then the right profile itself is supposed to be over here as well, just like this. So now I'm just going to save it and I'm going to hide out the layer right here. And then that's it. So now I can actually finally close this. And no, I don't want to save this. So this is going to be updated right here. So there's the illustrator character, not this one. So this is going to go around. There's the character for Kenny character animator. This is it. All right. So now we have this. So we got the head and everything else, as you can see right here. There's the frontal part right here. There's like the side profile. Everything has been selected out already. There's the nose right here and everything else, as you can see. For the right profile, for the frontal, there's like nose and everything just like that as well. And there's the torso right here. Everything you can see has been rinsed out quite well. And it, 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 now we can just rig it out later on now. So I'm going to create a new scene right here. So new scene, preparing character animator, as you can see right here. And this is our scene right here from the Photoshop character. And this is the one from our Illustrator. So you can see that we have a bit of a design change right here, just like that. And then we can go around and then just edit out the puppet right here. So this is the scene. We just got the front right here. Let's just work around with the same right here on the rig part. So let's just go around and then hide the right and the left profile right here. And then we're going to hide out the head right here, right and left profile, the body. Uh, everything is turned on right and left, just like that. Okay, so we can enable these out right here. So just like that, we can enable out all of these, but we can uh, just disable the left and right profile. Similarly on the head as well, disable the right uh, and left profile as well. So once we go on to record, it doesn't seem that weird right here. So we got both of our characters, one from our Photoshop and one from our Illustrator right over here. So that is how you can arrange out layers for trace out character in Illustrator and import it out inside of character animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.